Okay, so to begin with, you open with an effleurage. Effleuraging all around the deltoid, underneath the trapezius, and round the back of the neck, sweeping up to the temples. You can go around the face. So this is your, this is an opening opening effleurage. And I would do that loads to make sure that your client begins to sink down into the relaxation. Okay, and then the next part after that, that's 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 the effleurage, that's getting the oil on and the relaxation part. Lots of sweeps. Okay, and then I go into the pressure points pressure points on your chart and I would just hold hold for a while so the pressure points on the on one here on the bladder hold for a good 10 15 seconds and then tap one two three four five two and just for the sake of the video I'm going to go through them quick a bit quicker and then three Hold, tap, four, tap, stomach one, hold, tap, underneath the zygomatic, tap, either side of the nostril, Fourteen at the top of the sternum, and fourteen outer campus of the eye. So there are the pressure points. And you do that three times. And I would do that. Yeah, I would do that three times. Hold them for ten seconds and tap, and do a few rounds of that. Um, okay. And then the lymph drainage is very gently and very light sweeps all the way down the face. So I would do it slower. Just very light sweeps. I'm not working the the tissue of the of the muscles of the face. I'm working more the lymph drainage. So just again with circulation. Okay, so just a few rounds of that. And then releasing blockages, the circling, like I said, just lots of circles moving outwards. Up and out. Circles, 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 circles. And this is unblocking any blockages. And these are these are quite strong. Circles, circles, circles. And you can do a few rounds of that. Keep it flowing, keep it even. Circles. Then I'm going to use one side of the face, you do one side of the face, and I'm going to start plumping, stimulating, lifting. You can stretch and pull, stretch and pull. Stretch and pull, stretch and pull. Use the heel of your hand and lift. Heel of your hand and lift. More lifts. Lift, lift, lift. Spread and lift. Nice around the eyes if you wanted to put a little bit of cr an extra bit of product here. You can. It's nice around the eyes and we'll lift. Lift, 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 and lift. Now you can do the next phase all, um, all on the left, or you can move here. You can do a bit of lifting, spread and lift, spread and lift. 
view of the hand and left. So they're quite large movements. And then I'm going to do more flicks, little flicks. This is firming the skin. Little flicks. Little flicks, lift, lift, lift. Lift, lift, lift. And then more sweeping lifts. Sweeping lifts, little, these are little now. Sweeping lifts. Just going to show you the gua sha again. The gua sha is to pull and a little bit of scraping. This really brings chi and blood into the muscle, into the area. All around this triangularis and rosaurus muscle where it tends to lose its elasticity. This brings blood and chi and nutrients into the muscle. times and then you've also got the option of using the cold jade for some sweeps as well. So this does seem a little bit rushed but obviously I would take my time to use kinder entry down to the skin. You know, nice sweeps here. These are on these are frozen so that it's really nice and lifting. Beautiful around here. And then really nice to do some eye work. And it's nice, my fingers are actually really chilled, so it's quite nice around here. You can do a figure of eight around the eyes. Again, I'll do it much slower so that it's a more meditative feel. Around the eyes, a little squeeze along the brow. nice scissoring action which can be included into the little lift lift lifts finishing off with some sweeps of effleurage and of course we would have opened with chakras and then we're going to close with just a holding Hold, cover, front of the throat, third eye, and crown. It's also nice to include the ears. The ears have got loads of little acu points. You can do little coin rubs around the ears. And like I said, if if you if you do have time, then to take the hair out and do the scalp. You can also take the head from one side at a time to do the scalp massage. Totally delicious at the end, actually. Really nice to incorporate the head. There's also acupoints within the scalp as well, so it's really nice to include that. And back to the centre. And finishing off.